Magandang araw po sa inyo lahat. Ito po si Freddy. Dito na sa Amerika. At ako po ay magbibigay ng uh, aking kuro-kuro sa mga current events dyan sa Pilipinas. Most especially when it comes to security of the nation there in the Philippines. Okay? Ako nga po ay isa pang uh, sa mga nagtatanong po sino ako. Ako po ay isang uh, dating uh, Toastmaster International, competent Toastmaster. Uh, dyan sa Bacolod City when I was there, still there in the Philippines. And um, I'm also a uh, former uh, system uh, uh, support engineer dyan sa PLDT Bacolod. And also, I work uh, in Chicago for many, many years as a healthcare worker. Okay? Nakita nyo, demoted tayo, no? It's okay. Because sasabihin ng iba, ay kami mga US Filipino ay slave daw kami rito. No, it's not. I'm, a, I'm already a U.S. Um, pensioner here in America and I'm glad and I thank America for that matter. Okay? Now, uh, kung hindi pa kayo nakapag-subscribe, please subscribe to my channel by just pressing the red button below and at the same time, give me a big like and, it's, and together with uh, uh, comment whether in English or in Filipino. At the same time, act. Uh, you could share this video to others, most especially uh, to your friends and benefactors and uh, as well as in your community uh, here in America, in your community, most especially in California, as well as here in Texas. And also at the same time, give me a big likes, guys. Give me a big likes, okay? Now, ito ay papakiparinin ko lang muna sa inyo. Hindi ko pwede kasi baka makapiright ako. No? With regards to... Uh, topic with my content for today uh, dito sa UNTB no UNTB uh, newscast okay ito ang balita Expedia agent Jonathan Morales tinawag na professional liar ni Pangulong Bongbong Marcos Jr. So, makikita nyo talagang liar ho ito kasi ang record niyan, ang record niyan ay napatalsik ito sa Philippine National Police and at the same time, at the same time sa PDA. Okay? Pareho silang napatalsik. So, at po ay noted na for making uh, liars. Kaya nga, no, eh, yung kanyang sinabit dyan sa sa Senado at ito ay tinanggap na ni ni Senator Bato na pro China no pro China at pro Duterte pero hindi ho, hindi na ho talagang uh, makapagkaila si Senator Bato na ito ay pawang gawa-gawa lang nito ni Jonathan Morales na PDA agent kaya nga natanggal eh hindi ho siya credible at maging to mga ibang mga vloggers na pumapanik kay pangulong uh, dating pangulong Rodrigo Duterte ay pawang mga fake news ang kanilang pinalalabas and ano ang kalam mga uh, sasabing kasalanan ito ay sedition it is a uh, uh, inciting to rebellion or conspiracy within any person to levy war against the state rebellion eh and uh, also their their mission is to overthrow the organs of government established by the constitution and they are violating the constitution because they are trying to remove the president of the republic of the philippines uh trying to ask the president to step down through a lot of campaign through a lot of prayer rally which is not a prayer rally but it is a political rally uh, ano ba ang kanilang ano ba ang kanilang mission to seek to gain political control over an entire state or a portion of a state like in Mindanao gusto nilang uh, hiwalay ang Mindanao at ito ay pinangungunahan ni uh, dating Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte at uh, Congressman right now eh, uh, Alvarez Congressman Alvarez okay kasi pa ito si Congressman Alvarez ay kasama din sa mga ipatatawag at iimbestigahan ng ICC. Ah? Kaya ito ay uh, ay mahirap uh, pan, uh, mahirap uh, entertaining itong mga itong mga taong ito. Uh, ato na Harry Roque. Eh. Eh, hindi man siya kasama sa ano but they are trying to destabilize the government. 
to stabilize this the leadership of uh, President Bongbong Marcos Jr. The law prohibits incitement assistant. Tumutulong ka. Attorney Roque, you are you are inciting assistance or participation in a rebellion plot or destabilization plot or removal plot uh, or insurrection against the authority of the Philippines. Attorney Roque, okay, I know you are you are a good professor in UP. Huh? Kailangan, you have to practice your professionalism as a lawyer. Okay? I do hope that you are, most lawyers there in the Philippines should practice being a professional. Huh? Follow your wisdom. Huh? Not to be a, an instrument to, to overthrow the current government and wait for the 2028 uh, election. Now, uh, if you win the election, it's okay. You can do whatever you want. And you, I'm sure that uh, the, 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 the winning government, if, you, if your candidate wins, you will be chosen or you will be appointed as a member of the cabinet of the president. Like now, lahat kayo ay hindi na-appoint, kaya kayo ganyan. It's for selfish interest, guys. Hindi po sila para maglingkod sa bayan, kundi para sa kanilang kapakanan. Okay? Okay. Ngayon, pakinggan natin itong ang, ang boses ng ating Pangulong Bongbong Marcos Jr. with regards to Expedia Agent Jonathan Morales. Okay? Pera, kahit anong kantan gusto mo, kakantay niya. Oo, oh, kaya wala, wala, hindi ko bihag walang isa-isaya. Tignan mo na lang ang kanyang record. Nagsasagawa ng loyalty check ang National Capital Region Police Office o NCRPO sa gitna ng ugong na destabilisasyon laban sa Marcos Administration. Gayman, wala namang monitor ang NCRPO na police na nakikipag... Uh, mga, uh, Pangulong Bongbong Marcos Jr. Dapat kayong makinig at palakasin nyo at gamitin nyo ang intelligence fund. Gamitin nyo ang intelligence fund to collect data like here in America. They're using the intelligence fund. Si Sara Duterte ay linked to this uh, uh, organization of trying to a uh, plot to destabilize the government or to remove you, remove you from office. Marami na ako nagsasabi at ang, ang mga uh, solid note ay, ay nagsalita na that they are going to have a rally I think this May 17. May 17. And they are going to stage a rally like the this rally being uh, initiated by uh, ex-president Rodrigo Roa Duterte. They, they are out to remove you from office. That they are out to, uh, to ask you to step down, to step down from being a president of the Republic of the Philippines and being replaced by Vice President Sara Duterte. And all of them are pro-China. Nakinita nyo na hindi sila interesado on what's going on there in South China Sea. Buti pa yung ibang mga bansa na... Uh, na they are concerned about what's going on. Pero ito ma ito. Ito ay part of uh, China propagandism. They are out to out you as president. Maniwala po kayo sapagkat ang mga solid note na ang nagsasalita sa inyo. Okay? Maniwala kayo. Try to use your intelligence span to collect data on what's going on and after that data was collected you have to evaluate huh? you have to evaluate them uh, uh, all evidence gathered by this uh, uh, agent who try to to gather data against your administration more especially when it's against the constitution or any law violated like inciting to rebellion huh? sedition and by those corresponding sedition, like uh, Congressman uh, Alvarez of Mindanao. At the same time also, ex-president Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Kasi nakakasira ito sa 
uh, uh, Mr. President, Your Excellency, nakakasira ito sa mga programa niyo upang umagat ang ating ekonomiya. Magising po kayo. Magising po kayo. Sinabihan na kayo ng DOJ that they are preparing for several options in case ICC will come and try to uh, to try uh, these people uh, regarding the 30,000 people uh, that was killed during uh, Duterte regime. Hindi ba kayo nahahawa sa mga, sa mga uh, pamilya ng napatay? Bata? Ha? Mga bata pa? Mga sanggol na napatay in a crossfire? Pinagmamalaki nyo na kayo ay nakahold of uh, billions of peso worth of uh, uh, drugs. May malasakit pala kayo sa mga tao. Bakit yung pagmamalasakit ang ito? Na, na ito ay uh, sinasabi nyo na na meron tayong batas. And meron nga batas pero hindi kaya. We need an international trial court to handle this problem because it concerns a crime against humanity. Okay? And for the loyalty check, you have to do it through your intelligence. Not going to ask one by one, are you with me or not? No. You have to use your intelligence plan. Like here in America, in other countries. Isipin nyo na you have to reach your goal by 2025, by, by next year. Huh? Na sinabi nyo, or I just heard it, okay, I just heard it, that you are aiming, and it is good for the country, that we will be an upper middle income country. Kung may tuman may delay, that's still okay. Pero ang target nyo, is to be a developed country, right? Isn't it? With the help of the United States of America. We owe, the Filipino owe you a lot by giving in, in close with the United States of America as other countries are doing like Japan and Korea and Taiwan too. Okay? You have to be firm in your leadership, uh, Mr. President, Mr. I, His Excellency. We are uh, make uh, we trust you as a great leader. Show them that you have a uh, you are going to have a policy against those who try to destabilize your government. Okay, okay. Let us see what's going on again. Prostitution o scam hub sa Pasay City na raid ng mga otoridad noong October 27, 2023. Batay sa affidavit of complaint na inihain sa DOJ, sinampahan ng kasong serious illegal detention at sari-saring paglabag sa anti-trafficking laws ang 26 na Chinese respondents muling binigyan ni Inis. Nakita niya, nadaling niya ang mga news ngayon. Mga, uh, mga Uh, involved sa drugs ay most, mostly are Chinese. Ito ay inalaw ni dating Presidente Rodrigo Doa Duterte. Kaya ngayon ay nahihirapan kayo at hinihigpitan nyo na ang pagpasok ng mga Chinese dyan sa Pilipinas. Mr. President, Your Excellency, you have to wake up. You have to listen to those uh, people who are trying to protect you. Okay? I do hope, Mr. President, that you are going to go for your objective and goals and vision for the Philippines that we, that we can become an upper middle income country sooner, if not by next year. Sooner. Okay? And, and fight those people who try to, to remove you from office. They have to respect the constitution that you have to be or remain in office until 2028. They're trying to use the drug, uh, the, the, the drug issue in order for you to, to remove. It was, it was, it, that issue was already resolved in 2012 and they are using it because many people are interested in this drug issue. So it is in my channel 
and other channel of those bloggers there in the Philippines who are trying to help you, who are trying to push you to be become a, a firm leader so that we could achieve our goal of becoming a, a, a developed country. I do hope. Let's pray for the success of the President Bongbong Marcos Jr. In God we trust, never hold your peace. Until next time.